everyone, welcome to our van tour. We bought Big Red about a week ago now and thought it was about time to show you around our little home on wheels. So Big Red's a 1994 Volkswagen Eurovan. We, look, she's cozy, but <laughs> we love it. Um, we bought Big Red because obviously having it all set up out the back here, we can sleep in it. Um, but also the fact is we can go do day trips, weekends away, like we're not restricted to anything. We're not, you know, hoping we meet someone with a car or having to rent cars all the time. And We looked at quite a few vans or a couple of vans at least online and in person before we chose to purchase this one. Um, there was a few around in Vancouver when we landed. We didn't sort anything out until we actually got to the country because we wanted to see it in person. Um, but this one was built by a couple similar to us and they fitted it out themselves. Um, and we liked that personal touch and there was a lot of little features that it had that other vans didn't have. Um, there are some key things that we are missing that we would potentially like to add in the future. But at the moment it works for us. It feels like ours. It doesn't feel like a standard off the shelf sort of fit out. Um, and like Tristan said, it's giving us so much freedom. Having only been in Canada for a short time, there's so many things that we have seen that we wouldn't have been able to see if we were on a tour or on a bus or a, a charter somewhere. Um, so having Big Red has really allowed us to see things, do it at our own pace and take it um, at whatever speed we're comfortable with and we want to do. Um, yeah. yeah, so it's been awesome so far. We'll take you on a little tour and show you around. Um, there are some things that we've changed up already from when we purchased it. And there's some things that we've got next on our list. Um, but yeah, anything else? Nah, just enjoy. If you've got any tips or, you know, you've done the same thing, let us know. And we'll definitely take on all um, ideas. Enjoy guys, we'll show you around now. have the bed that is obviously the most important feature and it currently runs horizontally along the car. One reason that we really loved this van and chose to buy it though is because the bed has an extra extension just down here. So at night we pull this all the way out and it comes all the way out to about here and we have an extra piece of mattress that we put on it. Then we flick around the pillows and we can sleep vertically which is so, so handy because we can stretch out all the way and it's so comfortable. In saying that, we've also got our fairy lights, which we've flicked around. So the switches are just behind here. So that once you're in bed, we don't have to get back up to move or to turn any lights off, which is really handy. So once we come over to this side, in here is actually our wardrobe. So the previous owners built this big enough um, so that the next person could put a full-size fridge in if they wanted But for the moment, we're just using it as our wardrobe. So when we left Australia, we purchased packing cubes to put all of our stuff into and We have just put them straight into the cupboard Which makes it super easy to change in the morning and keep track of where everything is Up the top here, we've got all of our storage. So we've got a lot of our kitchenware um, some pantry staples as well as some cleaning stuff, tea towels and spices which have been really good. We've also got extra space up here for some bigger items like our pots and pans, our plates and we are also keeping our bath towels up here as well. So we got some books and extra storage over in the corner over there and then we, when we come around to the front, Tristan and I both have a shelf each which is something we love. This stuff doesn't move around as we drive. Um, so we've just got all of our toiletries in there and then we've got like a little medicine shelf as well. Up here we've got extra sort of essentials and storage, just like um, rubbish bags and garlic, onion, um, bags that we've just kept 
from the supermarket. They always come in handy. Um, and then extra little essentials, just like pencils and scissors and things like that. So this whole section is actually our pantry, which is another reason we love this van. It's such a small space, but they've utilized it so well and we've got so much stored. So I'll show you that in a minute, but while it's not our pantry and our cooking space, it's just a really good shelf. We can put stuff on at night or keep track of stuff up there. Underneath here, we've got a big gas bottle hooked up, which is super handy for our kitchen, which you'll see in a moment. And then we also have our fridge. So this is a electronic car fridge, um, but it doesn't work too well as a car fridge. So we are just using it as an esky for the moment. We've currently got our pantry and kitchen pulled out. So what happens is that this section pulls all the way up or retracts all the way into there. So it saves so much space. But then when we're set up at a campsite like this, we can just pull it all the way out and we've got our space to cook. We've got all of our dry pantry staples and goods. We hope you enjoyed our van tour. Let us know if you have any tips. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video.